Okay, today we've got the Cesfara unboxing for you. This is a uh, Hi-Fi Man's new flagship $6,000 headphone. Um, hopefully I don't say $6,000 too much in this video because uh, it is a pretty shocking amount of money for a headphone. Let's see how this thing looks. Alright, so immediately inside we have our warranty cards. And while these are important, make sure you register, they're not really that interesting. Okay, so the um, Cesfara comes with a, a hardcover owner's guide here. And this is a, a little bit of a step up from the HE1000 V2, which had a soft cover owner's guide. So similar kind of effect. Let's take a look inside. All right, so nice print quality, and glossy pages. This uh, opera house of some sort with the picture in it. Some information, which is uh, the same as what we have on the website. And uh, this is a personal thank you from Fang Bian. That's nice. Some more opera houses. Explanations of the technology. More pictures from the web. Opera houses. I do think that Fang might be a uh, fan of opera houses. Wow, that's a nice picture. I wish I had a macro lens like that. Okay, and there's uh, the cables. Those appear to be the same cables as the HE1000 V2. Serviceable, but uh, nothing particularly special. And this picture right here is of the EF1000 amplifier. It's the dedicated amp for the Cesfara. And um, the Cesfara is kind of the upgrade version of the HE6. And there are a lot of people who use crazy amps to drive the HE6. I'm talking, you know, mono blocks designed to drive big speakers. So you will likely need something very powerful to drive your Susfara should you be getting one. That amp, last time I checked, wasn't available on Hi-Fi Man's site, so you might need to wait a little bit to see that come around. All right. Ah, well, that's nice to see. A little bit of instruction on maintenance. All right. So, nice enough hardcover book. And now we have a kind of velvet effect bag. Um, now, I talked to one of my friends who um, also had the HE6, and apparently this this bag is the same bag basically that came with the HE6. I don't know if the colors are exactly the same, but um, the bag's nothing special and kind of inexpensive looking for a $6,000 headphone. Um, I would have liked if they had maybe a, a leather bag with a bit of padding. You know, something that you, you might actually want to put your flagship headphone in. All right, so we're getting to the moment of truth coming here. And there she is. But we're not going to look at her immediately. All right. Let's open this little compartment. Okay, so we have the cables in here. And I'm going to try to give you a close-up look, if I can, on here of these cables. Because if we look at connectors around the Y-split, and this is something I observed with the HE1000 V2. Okay, so we've got that. Okay, so at the Y split, it's um, a little, it's flexible, but it also looks like it's 
almost kind of coming out of the the sockets. So this is it's not a it's not a cable that you want to be rough on because um, it doesn't look like it's incredibly durable. Now the uh, the cable's a copper combination of uh, silver and copper, and it sounds pretty good. And Hi-Fi Man does give you two cables, and one of them is a balanced, which is something that you don't actually necessarily see that often, is getting two cables, even in high-end stuff. I mean, the um, HD800 came with one cable. All right, and now we are to the headphone. So let's pull this out. Okay, so that little method of rotating up and then pulling up. That was uh, something I learned from opening the HE-1000 V2 last week. Alright, so as we can see there, there is a lot of gold. A lot of gold in there. Um, that might be why it's so expensive. You pile that much gold in anything, it's going to raise the price. Um, I talked to cable manufacturers um, a little bit, and there are gold-plated cables out there. And, um, <clears throat> well, sometimes there's a question of audio efficacy on cables. Uh, it does substan substantially raise the price of them, like 40 or 50 percent, you know, for them to manufacture. So when you uh, buy a gold-plated cable, that's what you're getting. But um, with this, it, this this reminds me a lot of the, the HE1, looking at the inside of this this driver, um, the HE1, if you've, if you've seen it, also has that kind of gold effect. And Sennheiser gave some reasons for, for that gold effect. I can't quite remember what they are, but um, it was supposed to enhance sonic performance. And I imagine there's, there's similar reasoning behind this. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And we can see there, the wood is very nice too. Nice looking pads. Really beautiful looking headphone. Every bit looking at a flagship. And I, I like that these um, these rotate because that allows you to lay them flat on your desk, which is nice. All right, let's see if we can get a real close up shot there. Right, so that's the Susfara from Hi-Fi Man. It's their new flagship headphone out there to replace the HE6. And I am really looking forward to getting a bunch of time with this. Stay tuned for a review at some point. The review won't be on YouTube. It'll be on audioprimate.blog, um, which is our blog. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed seeing this flagship come out of the box.